ladies and gents, this is Linda Fachik777, and today I'm coming at you with a design team project for Discount Paper Crafts. Now, this particular project I made as a gift for Miss Miranda. About, it might have been a couple months ago now, she posted a picture on Facebook, and I absolutely fell in love with the picture, and I was dying to create something with that picture. So I immediately saved it, and I just waited for inspiration to come, and here it is. Now, she just saw it. Yesterday, was it? Because I had to post it on our design team group page, but she knew nothing about it. Except I did tease her about a week before that. I popped up a couple pictures on our group page, and I was like, should I use this one or this one? And she's like, what? What's going on here? So, anyway, so, you know, I kind of leaked I was making something for her. But other than that, she didn't know a thing, and she didn't know what it was or what it looked like till just yesterday. So, I'm going to move my sign out of the way so we can get going. All right, so here comes my project. Yes, I made another clock. Now, I told you I had a few more clocks in the works. I showed you my one last time. There's this one, and I have one more to go because one was requested in my next swap. So anyway, here is the project I made. As you can see, it's a large X and O. I know, because you know how I like to put X and O in it, so I just did a little play on the X and O this time. And as you can see, I printed it on transparency, but here is Miranda's photo, a very romantic kissy kissy poo photo. I know. And the paper I used was a Prima engraver paper because that's kind of one of Miranda's favorite, you know, papers from Prima. And I wanted it to be a little bit grungy and also because that's what she likes and add some kind of metal elements and stuff in there. But I also wanted it to be a little bit shabby because that's kind of my spin on it. Okay. So as we get started, I want you to know like I usually do, and I usually tell you, but you never know if there's someone new coming along, so say it with me. I distressed all the papers and sewed all the edges. Okay, all right, so let me show you first what I distressed with this time. Little tool I bought from Kathy's store, and I know a lot of you have it, but those of you that don't, run and get this. I got the Prima Tool. Kathy carries it now in her store, the Ingville Bohm Prima Tool. Love it! I love that it has this really rough distressor. It's got this one that you can almost use like sandpaper or, or just kind of powders up the edge of your paper if you don't want really, you know, rough and distressed torn edges. This is a really um, fine kind of edger. They do give you an extra piece. This comes off. For those of you that don't know, you just clip this and pop it out like this and replace it. Okay. All right. Now I've I've been using the Timmy tool forever. Love it. Love the Timmy tool. Nothing wrong with it. But sometimes it got a little hard for me to hold because I do have tennis elbow and no, I don't play tennis. <laughs> I got it because of repetition at my job. So sometimes it kind of hurt to hold, but this I can literally hold it with two fingers and I can distress the edges. I'm kind of holding this in because I'm not putting it back in right. So anyway, I can literally hold it with two fingers and distress the edges. Freaking awesome. Kathy's got it in her store. I don't know what I waited so long for. Okay, so Prima Distress Tool. If you don't have it, I urge you to go get it. Okay, so now um, on with the project. Now, usually, you know, I put sand in my projects. I'm going to kind of bring this up. I put sand in my projects and I paint it and distress it and that's what I did here but what I want you to notice is look how big the texture looks. Well I was at my Dollar Tree and they brought some new sand in and it is really big like rock salt almost. You can see how big it is. So it doesn't completely like texture the whole thing. It just does it like sporadically but it's really kind of cool. I kind of liked it. That is just, it's just cool to me. So, you know, I distressed all the edges, like I said. Now, normally when I do letters and stuff, I like my edges to kind of be buffed into the wood. But since this was a real distressed kind of grungy look, I let it all, you know, hang out there, okay? So, um, what I started with as the base is the X is just, a, you know, an X from, um, 
you know, Michael's store, those wooden letter X's. And the O is actually from Walmart. It is actually a pillar candle holder. So let me turn it sideways and show you. See? It actually is one of those, it's like a big bowl so that you could put like sand or rocks in it and then display your big pillar candle in the center. When I saw that, I was like, that is a canvas waiting to be built upon. So I grabbed it and I knew immediately what I wanted to do with it. I knew I wanted to do like an X and O um, and I immediately thought of a clock. And so, you know, inspiration finally hit and I went on to Miranda's project. Now I nailed it together at the tip top. There's about four nails up here. It doesn't move, but it's, you know, not glued at the bottom um, or not nailed at the bottom. But I also, you know, I made it so it sits tabletop. I thought about making it so that it hangs up, but I just didn't want to do that. I wanted it to sit tabletop because, uh, quite frankly, I was getting a little bit lazy. So <laughs> it sits on the table. Anyway, so let me zoom in on this left side so that and um, kind of adjust this a little bit and just kind of give you a peek see down this left side of the x okay so we're just going to slowly pan down so you can see what i've done okay i used a lot of stencils on this quite a few different stencils in fact okay um i used the um Crafters Workshop, oopsie, wrong way as usual. Crafters Workshop, the artist stencil. I used the Crafters Workshop ledger stencil. Um, from Kathy's store, I used the crackle stencil that she has. Yay, she got it in her store. And I also used my other favorite stencil that Kathy has, which is the one with the dots. This one that I use and also has the letters and the rose pattern because I use the dots a lot. So also use that from Kathy's store, the Prima stencil. Um, let's see, what other stencil did I use? That was, I think that was it. I used a stamp as well, a Bow Bunny stamp from my stash. There's, you can almost see, it almost looks like a double script because I stamped over the top of the script. So I've got a lot of that script um, stamp in places as well. And you can see here like the crackle stencil. So I distressed over everything with my white paint mixed with the regular um, minute or fine grain sand. So it kind of gives it a powder texture. And you can kind of see right in here like the dots and I textured over it. I love to do that. How that does down in here. Over the top, I use white even over the top of that. I love how I stenciled like the artist stencil all the way. I did this on the paper before I glued it in and then I textured over it. So that goes all the way around the inside on the O. So I love that kind of element. I just wanted it to be nice and grungy. Textured over the top of my flowers and on all my metals as you can see. Okay. All right, so let's start on this left edge. Kathy has some new Prima um, trims in her store, crochet trim. So on my project, I've used two of them, and it's kind of hard to see, but I'll show you. I've used this one. I know it's really pretty, right? And then I also used, let me find it, here it is, this one right here. Bringing it up, use this one. Really cute little floral trim. I got two more. I think she had like five in her store. I got two more out of her store. There's this one right in here. Beautiful, just this is just really delicate looking. Pretty little trim. And then also there is this one. It's kind of similar to my other flower one, but I'm bringing it up here. It's all wrinkly, sorry. Little floral, cute, huh? So got these at Kathy's store. Anyway, there you go. Those little new Prima trims in her store. So on this left side, what I did at the top is I just kind of made a slit in the paper and rolled it back and I added some of that gorgeous Prima trim that I showed you. And these are three little flowers for my stash. I kind of tucked inside that little rolled back area. And right here, let me bring it in a little closer so you can see, is a teeny tiny little Prima bird. Kathy's carrying a lot of resins in her store now and this little teeny bird is the one that comes with a little bird bath I think it's a bird bath and two little bitty birds. So um, there's a little bitty bird on top Coming down on this side a lot of new metals in Kathy's store. These are the little lamp posts the shabby chic metals 
lamp post. This is a single one. There's two singles and then a triple lamp post all in the same package. This is a single one. These zippers Kathy has in her store. These zippers actually have like little baubles hanging from them. Light bulb or not light bulbs. Hearts and little... Um, I don't know why I thought a light bulb. Hearts and little danglies from the zippers. But what I did is I took the little dangly off this zipper. And then I put it down here at the bottom. So that dangly actually comes on that little zipper. Because I kind of wanted something hanging down here. So I just took it apart. Anyway, and a lot of flowers in Kathy's store. She's got a lot of new releases. Um, a lot of these, like this, is Petaloo flower here. Let me bring it in so you can see it. These are Petaloo flowers. This with the script on it, again, Petaloo flowers. A lot of these other ones are just flowers from my stash. Um, right in here, I have a gear tucked in here for Miranda because I know she likes the metals. And I added some of this curly um, stuff. It just kind of reminded me of the outdoors because I know Miranda likes to kind of bring the outdoors in a lot of her projects. So I have some of this curly stuff down here. And also right down in here and then also over in here because I just kind of wanted to bring that element in for her. This is a resin angel. Kathy has the different, I think there's three different sets of angels in her store. Okay, these are the light bulbs, the Prima light bulbs Kathy is carrying in her store. This is the large one. It's a set of like eight or ten, is it, to a package. So these are the light ones. Underneath the light bulb, you can't really see it. Beautiful new flowers. They're called Paquita, I think. But you can barely see it. I covered it up with the light bulb. But if I come along the side here, you can kind of see how delicate the fabric is. Beautiful, delicate flowers in there. Now, these that I hung from the zipper, these are just farmhouse charms for my stash. Okay. We come down the line here. I'm going to kind of turn to the side. This is again Petaloo Flowers from Kathy's store. These are the metal flowers of the new releases by Prima, Kathy's store. Now these are a little more splayed out. So I just took my jewelry pliers and I kind of curled in the petals a little bit, brought it in a little bit more. And the center's actually more taller. And so I kind of cut it off, made it shorter, curled it in. So I just made it a more condensed flower. And this is a little Tim Holtz number as we know. Behind that is the Prima Clock Face from Kathy's store and the Prima Clock Hands. I have been wanting to get my hands upon these pieces forever and Kathy brought them in. I think she had them in a long time ago before I designed for her, but um, she was able to bring them back again. So super excited about that. I know. All right. So we're going to turn around to this back a little bit. My back isn't pretty, but I want you to see. I mean, you can see it. I textured it with the crackle and the ledger stamp and then just did um, texturing over the top of that. Or I stenciled with those and then texture over the top. But I'm not proud of it, but we're not going to look at it very long. Okay, back to the pretties. Um, more flowers for my stash right in here. Here's where you can see where I wove that beautiful Prima Crochet trim in and out of the flowers. No rhyme or reason. You just kind of glue, you kind of glue the piece on and you start gluing flowers and you kind of start weaving it in and out of your flowers and gluing and placing flowers over it. Real easy, simple to do and just adds lots of texture. Okay, just going to come around to the front here, back around. And I love how, like here, you know, also the artist stencil I put in here. Just love it. You can see up in here some of the little dots from that Prima uh, stencil from Kathy's store. Some more down in here, some of the dots. I just, it adds such a softness. Okay, so let's move on to the O. I'm going to move this back a minute. You can see Miranda's little beautiful picture there. I know, it's so pretty. All right, so I'm going to bring this in a little bit so we can get a kind of a view coming down the side of the O. Get a little bit closer up view. All the little goodies I added. Okay. Come up to the side. I'm going to come up this way a little bit so you can kind of get a look, get a little gander at the clock and the photo. Okay, and then the gander at the side here, and I'll show you that as we get to it a little bit better. Because I wanted some hanging elements. Oopsie, Miranda's turned around. There's a C and an M there. She's flipped. She's flipped her lid. Not really. 
All right. Anyway, let's get back over to the clock portion. Okay, so I'm going to bring this out because I'm going to hold it up, actually. So let's start on this left edge. These, This is the three-tiered uh, metal lamp post from, like, the other one I showed you on the left-hand side. It comes from Kathy's store. These, uh, I didn't show you on the other side because it's kind of hard to see. This and this, and I have one over on the, on the X. Let me see. Here it is. It's tucked right in there. I got these actually at a garage sale, and it came on this thing I bought that I wanted to alter. And they're roses, but they're actually made out of wood. And I thought that was so cool because, like I said, I know Miranda likes kind of natural elements on her projects. So I really wanted to put these in my project because they were made out of wood. So... That's what those are from, from my stash. Right up in here is the tiny light bulbs, the Prima light, there you go, the Prima light bulbs from Kathy's store. This is an actual gear. I was also at a different garage sale from where I got these, and it was like this all like tools garage sale, and there was drawers that you opened that were full of springs, and drawers that you opened that were full of light bulbs. This was just about a couple weeks ago, and this one door that I opened had gears and washers and stuff in it, and so this is the one big gear that was in there, and boy, I snatched that right up because I wanted to um, use that in this project. When I saw it, I knew I was immediately going to use it. So anyway, some other little flowers from my stash. This is another Petaloo flower. You can barely see it. This is a new um, release from Tim Holtz. Kathy has in her store. They're little, I can't remember what they're called, but they're numbers and they're little clip-ons. Like you can clip them on the end of a page or something, almost like a paper clip. Okay, so it's the number two, of course, because Miranda and Chris make two. All right. This is one of those Paquita flowers. It's three in a pack. So that one was white over that way. This is a real light, pale pink, and the other one's like a really dark rose. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, just, you know, really thin, delicate fabric flowers from Prima. Right in here, this is from my stash. It's just a bead landing bolt. Or is it bead landing? It could be. I almost wonder if it's Seven Gypsies. Anyway, from my stash, one of those, a big thing of bolt. This is another Prima clock face from Kathy's store. We all know this. This is a Tim Holtz ornate um, frame. Just love it. This is a wooden title from my stash. Down in here amidst more flowers and this Petaloo flower from Kathy's store. This is another Prima resin bird. Now this bird came from the pack. It has like five or six in a package. And they're all, what I like is they're all in different positions. Some are flying, some are, you know, standing. I mean, it's just really cool. So that's a little Prima resin bird. This is a little um, spring from my stash a little light bulb from my stash and here's some of that beautiful prima crochet trim i just kind of you know intermixed in there and i've even got it right up in here can you kind of see it right up lodged in there a little bit so there's that beautiful prima it just looks pretty just tucked in okay so on the clock itself these are the prima um the roman numerals and i believe i got these from kathy's store it's been a while I know she carries the regular numbers. I think she's got the Roman numerals too. Um, and what I usually tend to like to do is I always, when I do clocks, I like to do the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9. Well, for my 12, I didn't have any more single 1s or 2s. So what I did is I have these little teeny tiny, I mean, look how teeny they are to my finger, little teeny tiny 7 Gypsies keys in my stash, and I made them work as you know, single one, so the 10 and two ones makes the Roman numeral 12. So I thought that was kind of cute anyway. It was a good alternative to doing that. And in my clock in there, and I textured up the little clock hands with black paint and mixed with sand and then did a little bit of the white texture over the top. And as you can see, like I said, I printed, or did I say, I printed Miranda's picture on transparency, and I made it so that you could really see, I used the script of the engraver paper so that you could really see the writing through that photo, and I just love to do that. Did I tell you at the beginning, because I've done this um, video a couple times, it's the Prima Engraver paper from Kathy's store. I don't know if I told you that. I apologize if I didn't, or I apologize if I just didn't told you twice. Anyway, so let's move on to the side. I love how that crackle just adds just a little bit. I didn't do it over all the whole thing. I just kind of sporadically did it. 
just really nice adds a great great texture so on this side here I layered some more flowers for my stash layered some more of that beautiful prima trim layered some more of the petaloo flowers from Kathy's store coming around here again here's some more of the pe I love these petaloo flowers with the script on them they're just beautiful she's got all sorts of colors the I use mostly the pinks and the whites okay and then this is another one from my stash but it's one of the farmhouse clock keys it's a big one I've got the Tim Holtz one but it was just too small it didn't um, fit in the size didn't quite fit with you know um, the proportion of the clock so I, I got one of the great big farmhouse ones and then I hung this is just a farmhouse clock charm and then from that and I got these from Kathy's store I don't know if she still has them in stock but these are the little Tim Holtz um, little what do you call these things? Anyway, the little Tim Holtz um, have the initials in them and the epoxy stickers. And I added a C for Chris and an M for Miranda. I should have added an H because she always calls them her honey. So I should have did an H and an M for honey and Miranda. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I know. So anyway, there is my project. Let me bring this back out. Uh, oh, wrong way. Darn it. I thought I was going to go the right way. One of these days I'll get it right. I swear. Anyway, so here is my project for this month for Discount Paper Crafts. As usual, I will have the links down below to Kathy's blog, or not, well, the blog, yes. The Etsy store is what I wanted to say at first, and the Facebook. And then there will be a link to my blog where I will feature um, all the individual products that I use from Kathy's store that she has currently in stock. So that if you want to go do that particular project, you can just click right on the link and go right to it and grab it and put it in your cart. I am super excited that she brought in a lot of the Prima stuff that, you know, um, came in a while ago, but, you know, kind of all got sold out. She was able to bring it back in, like the resin pieces and the metals and the clock faces and the zipper pulls and all that stuff. I am just ecstatic over that Kathy has this back in her store. She's got so much yumminess in there, you know, besides Prima. So go take a look if you've not seen her store before. Fabulous, fabulous prices. She marks everything down below underneath uh, what most... Uh, stores mark theirs at so you're getting a great deal right off the bat but anyway um, I hope you enjoyed this project let me know what you think Miranda sweetie I hope you love this as much as I just love and adore you and it will find its way to your doorstep as soon as I can get it packaged up thanks for sharing your time with me guys and gals and I'll talk with you again soon bye